growing close to the palm base should be avoided as it damages absorbing roots leading to reduced intake of water and nutrients. Oil palm comes to flowering 14 to 18 months after planting. It produces both male and female flowers separately on the same palm. Ablation is the removal of male and female flowers produced during early growth stages. Ablation should be done immediately after appearance of inflorescence. Inflorescence can be removed easily by hand pulling. This helps the plant to gain adequate stem girth, vigor and develop adequate root system. Oil palm is a highly cross-pollinated crop. Though pollination is assisted by wind and insects, wind pollination is not adequate. Effective pollinating insects like Aledobius camaronicus helps in good pollination and fruit set. The weevil should be released after two and a half years of planting. If the plants are not having good girth and vigor, the weevils should be released after three years. Oil palm is a wide spaced perennial crop. After three or four years, limited space is available in between plants. Cattle, goat, sheep can be allowed to graze the available grass in the leftover space. This will help in getting subsidiary income. Farmyard manure will also be available to oil palm plantation by which soil and plant nutrient status will be improved. Rhinoceros beetle damage symptoms are seen in the form of wedge-shaped gaps in the leaf silhouette permanently marked hole in the outermost pair due to the beetle's penetration. Adult beetles tunnel into the crown of the palm at the base portion and eat the soft tissue or sap. It can be controlled by destroying the breeding sites. Maintain sanitation in the orchard. Trap the adults with fermented castor cake bait and kill the adult beetles. Treat compost pits with insecticides like carbaryl or quinylphos regularly to kill the young stages of the pest. It can be controlled biologically by using green muscadine fungus metarhizium anisoplay. The fungal pathogen can be applied on breeding sites like farmyard manure pits and dead logs. Keep 20 grams of forate in perforated polythene sachets in spear leaf axes. Change the position of sachet every month by keeping in a new spindle. Partial rotten farmyard manure or compost should never be applied to the palms as they contain grub stages of the pest. Birds normally cause damage to the mesocarp of oil palm fruits resulting in fruit drop and oil loss. The damage is controlled by covering the fruit bunches with wire mesh or chicken mesh or dried coconut leaves or oil palm fronds after 150 days of fruit set. Also use bird scaring devices and fish nets. Bud rot affected oil palm fronds show yellowing of spear leaves subsequently turning to brown. The spear then collapses and can be easily pulled out. To control this disease, affected tissues in the crown are removed and drenched with 0.1% solution of carbon dazim. When the disease is in advanced stage, leaves surrounding the spear should be cut and affected tissues should be removed layer by layer till fresh tissues are seen and smeared with 1% carbon dazim paste. Chocolate brown discoloration of the leaflets of outer whorl of the leaves followed by necrosis is the first symptom of the crown. Necrosis progress towards the inner whorl of the leaves and results in death of the palm. To detect the disease, sharp iron rod or auger may be pierced into the bowl region which gives out some liquid. If the liquid gives putrefied smell, the palm should be subjected to trunk surgery immediately. Trunk surgery is done to remove the affected fibrous tissues from inside the trunk. 
outer stem tissues and frond buds should be chiseled. Innermost disease tissues should be removed first. A protective covering with carbon dazim plus monocrotophos should be pasted followed by application of hot coal tar to protect the wound from invading microorganisms. Harvesting must aim to recover the whole mature bunches. Maturity indices in oil palms are when fruits in the bunch turn to yellowish-orange and 5 to 10 fruits from a bunch drop on their own. The bunch is considered to be ripe and ready for harvesting. At this stage, if the fruits are pressed hard with fingers, orange-colored oil exudes from the fruits. While harvesting, stock length of 5 cm alone should be left. Harvesting in younger plantations is done by using a chisel. Harvesting in older plantations is done with the help of a sickle attached to an aluminum pipe. After harvesting of fresh fruit bunches, transport them from farm to collection center by means of bullock cart, tractor, etc. Suitable measures are to be taken to reach the collection center without much delay and damage to the bunches. These fresh fruit bunches are to be transported from collection center to processing unit within 24 hours for further processing to get crude palm oil. major use of palm oil is as a cooking medium. Besides, it is used to make various value-added food and non-food products like biscuits, ice creams, soaps, detergents, shampoo, margarine and cooking fat. In fact, palm can help our lives in more ways than we can imagine. At home or at work, in a restaurant or a beauty parlor, even while traveling in a car this versatile oil can contribute. The oil is rich in carotene, making it a storehouse of vitamin A. The oil has a perfect balance of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, which do not adversely affect cholesterol levels. Palm oil is also considered one of the best oils for frying. This is because it can resist high temperatures and does not produce unpleasant smells. And that's not all. Around the world, palm oil and its derivatives are being used for various other uses. To manufacture candles and cosmetics, other items that require a fatty base. This has been successfully tested as a biofuel and its use is steadily increasing. For everyday use as glue. This golden palm, originally from Africa, and popular in Asian nations like Malaysia and Indonesia has arrived to stay in India. But India is still to wake up to its full potential. That will happen only when our stakeholders get to realize its vast usage and high productivity potential. The oil palm can work wonders for a nation like ours, provided we work towards making it possible together Oil palm can be our golden palm. We just need to come together to make it happen.